blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I beg, I plead, Lord, you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak that you've given me to speak. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Lord, you call me to warn. You call me to warn. So that's what I'm doing. I'm warning, Lord. I'm warning. I'm give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am God's dirt. My dreams are coming true. Right before my eyes, my dreams are coming true. More shootings. More killings. People going mad. Doing unspeakable things. Another bank folding. Another bank going out of business. Two more banks lined up behind this one going out of business. And I saw a video from an insider that says that one of the top six banks in America will close its doors next week. David Wilkerson, he saw the economic collapse coming to America. And he was, he was heartbroken by it. He said, it's coming, it's coming. But he really thought that it would be coming a lot sooner than this. And I thought that it would be coming sooner than this. But it's here now. It's here now. It's in your face. It's in your face. And and it's it's on the it's on the nightly news. We're talking about bank closings and economic collapse coming and more and more people getting laid off. More and more businesses are, are folding, shutting their doors forever. And some of them are, are huge corporations, nationwide, international corporations, uh, just closing their doors, going out of business forever. Things are only going to get worse. Things are only going to get worse. You need to prepare. And that preparation starts with Jesus Christ. And Him him only can we put our faith and our trust nothing else nothing made by man no one else no politician no scientist no magic pill one day soon one day soon God's gonna remove all of our all of our all of the things that that pull us away from from God, He's gonna He's gonna remove them from us. And uh, we won't have we won't have drugstores, we won't have doctors, we won't have hospitals. Food will start running out. Electricity will be hit and miss, and then eventually it'll go out altogether. And if we're still here, we will be forced, we will be forced to put our faith in Jesus Christ, in Him and His Word alone. Because there won't be any doctors, there won't be any hospitals, and there won't be any pills. So you might as well start getting prepared now. Start putting your faith in Jesus Christ. Because nothing else can save us. I'm going to be starting a, uh, a hotline for prayer and right now to, to get it started uh, at the end of this video I'll have a, a number that you can call and right now I'm just setting it up for Friday uh, between 7 and 8 people can call in that, that need prayer either for themselves or a family member and I want to remind you that the only, the only pure vision that I ever had. I've, I've had visions where I had my eyes closed and I heard things, I felt things, I knew things, I sensed things. But this was the only pure vision that I had. And I was 
I was, I was praying over a line of people in a church. And I was touching their forehead, anointing them with oil. And I was praying for them. And in Jesus' name, they were healed. And I have prayed and prayed and prayed and asked the Lord, why did you give me that vision? Because I have prayed for people and they didn't seem to get healed. So I'm starting this prayer line. The Holy Spirit confirmed it, not once, but twice. So I'm starting this prayer line. And we have to remember that God doesn't always work the way we want him to work. He doesn't do all, do, do all things immediately. Sometimes he works and he heals immediately. Sometimes it's in hours, sometimes it's days, weeks, even months. But God's will will be done. And and sometimes our healing, sometimes it, it our troubles, sometimes they're a test. Sometimes it's to humble us. I was humbled. I was humbled. I was humbled right to the floor. And I learned my lesson. Never tell God no. Never tell God no. And always put your faith and trust in God. Because there's nothing else you can trust. And for for us that, that take pills for different ailments, we're going to have to learn to, to trust God rather than trust the pills. And what I do is when I take a pill today, I say a little prayer and I thank God. And I recognize that all healing comes from God. And if God didn't want you to live, then all the pills, all the doctors of this earth, couldn't add one more second of time to your life on this earth. So we all need to recognize that, that all healing is of God. All healing is of God. And God's will will be done. So, at the end of this video, look for that number. And uh, it's it's for Friday evening between 7 and 8, and that's central, central time. And I don't know if this works internationally, so if you can't get through internationally, then I will have to try to do something different. But bad times are coming. I know we're going to get raptured out of here, but I don't know when. I don't know when. We could be raptured out any second, maybe tomorrow. But we, ha we all have to be ready. Our garments have to be white, white as snow, without spot or wrinkle found ready so that's my prayer we have to trust we have to put our full faith and trust in Jesus Christ and not of men not of men but of Jesus and Jesus only bad times are coming it's only going to get worse it's only going to get worse so remember Friday, Friday evening, starting at 7 to 8, uh, we'll have a call-in prayer line, and uh, you can give me your name and, and uh, tell me what you need prayer for, and I will pray for you on, on the phone. The Holy Spirit told me to do this, so I will do it. God bless you. God keep you in yours, in his loving arms, just like you know me, just like you know me. And in that vision, it was not me. It was not by my works. It was not by anything that I did. And it was not, certainly not for my glory, but for the glory of God. I touched people. And I spoke words over them. And, and, and in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, they were healed. They were healed. Now, some might say that I'm just an old Vietnam era cripple that still can't walk. So how can I heal anybody? Remember William Seymour, he's, he was the pastor of uh, Azusa Street. 
He had mighty, mighty miracles. They healed people at, at that mission that had missing arms and legs, and, and arms and legs grew back. Teeth grew back in people's heads. People that were blind had missing eyeballs, but their eyeballs grew right back, right in front of people. They could see, they could hear. Mighty, mighty works of God at Azusa Street Mission. And that's what we need. That's what we need in these last days, a mighty move of God. Because these are the last days. And we're going to get to a point where we have nothing else to depend on but God. So you might as well prepare yourself now because it's coming. God bless you, each and every one. We keep you all in our prayers. We really do. Amen.